So the expected descent rate, the expected velocity under the drogues nominal, we're right at around 150 miles an hour and already dropping. You can see the drogues now detach. And there we have confirmation of deployment of the four main parachutes. We are visual on four shoots out. We are visual. Four main parachutes deployed. Four main. As we're now just about 20 meters off the ocean. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for splashdown. SpaceX copies and concurs. We see splashdown and mains cut. Dragon Endeavor has returned home. NASA astronauts and Bob Endeavor and Doug. On behalf of the SpaceX and NASA teams, welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. <laughs> It's truly our honor and privilege to fly the flight of the uh, Crew Dragon and Endeavor. Congratulations, everybody, at SpaceX. Uh, all good, and we're uh, into section of four decimal eight zero zero. Oh, and there we can see a view inside the capsule. Bob and Doug looking good. Although the communication was a little choppy, we did SpaceX, hear uh, at this point, they are not really laying on their backs in the ocean. They are seated upright a little bit, which would allow them to have a better view of the team working to install the rigging equipment. And you are seeing a few more boats than expected. Um, the team's currently working uh, with a few private vessels uh, in the area, making sure that they get out of there. So we are being advised that uh, the recovery team is radioing out to the vessels in the water near Crew Dragon to vacate the area uh, so that we're able to extract Bob and Doug safely. Uh, you know, also for the safety of those folks in the area as well, not just Bob and Doug. Yeah, this is, this is obviously a dynamic operation. One of the first things we do is make sure there aren't essentially poisonous fumes around the capsule. So. Uh, something like this just really can endanger the whole thing, endanger the crew members and endanger themselves. So uh, the SpaceX team is moving in to try and get them away. Certainly not to be confused with one of our uh, landing drone ships. <laughs> There's a live view of Dragon, uh, of Dragon floating in the water there in the background. This is uh, essentially the nest in the background there. Dragon will be hoisted using the hydraulic lift out of the water and into that nest. So there we can see the lift. Dragon is out of the water. Yeah, so now, now that A-frame is gonna start swinging it back and it's bound right for that nest at the bottom of your screen. Again, the recovery team. SpaceX Dragon from the commander. Go for SpaceX. There we have our first view of yeah, Doug Mike, Curley. I just would like to sort of reiterate what Bob said and add uh, my thanks to uh, everybody over the last several years that's either worked in Hawthorne, McGregor, or down at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Anybody who's touched Endeavor, uh, you should take a moment to just cherish this day, especially given all the things that have happened this year. Uh, we certainly can't thank you enough. Our families can't thank you enough. And, uh, just proud to be a, a small part of this whole effort to get the uh, company people to and from the space station. They can celebrate with each other. See you soon. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, hopefully in person. Spacecraft Commander Doug Hurley making his way out of the capsule. And it looks like we've got him out. We've got him seated. There we 
we go, another thumbs up.